In today's video, I'll be showing you how to get internal column names from SharePoint into Power Automate. I will also be showing you how to get all the lookup columns. I created a SharePoint list that contains almost all different types of column types. For the Manage Metadata column, I have renamed the display names to job titles. Let's jump right into the workflow. We're gonna use the send an HTTP request to SharePoint. You have to enter your site collection method is get, and this is the URL here. So the list would be the GUID ID. To get that, all we have to do is go to the list settings and just look at the URL at the top. So list equals should be a percentage seven and then a usually a capitalization and then anything from the low case right before the percentage sign again. Copy that and then go back to your workflow. This is the headers over here. All right, let's test it and see what happens here. It is successful. So if we were to take a look at the raw output, then I just want to copy into a JSON formatter just to, for us to see it a little bit better. And if we were to take a look at the tree view here, I know for sure I did not manually create 106 columns. So we have the autofill filter, auto index. Um, and if we scroll down a little bit, there is an internal name. Uh, this is the content type ID hidden. The hidden is true. The schema XML is what we need if we were to create a SharePoint list or library from code. Let's take a look at managed metadata. And then we have the internal name here. Let's look at the display name. And then we have the title here. So the internal name, you can either use the static name or a uh, internal name column. Going down a little bit further, if we want to take a look at of all of the lists and libraries that has lookup columns, the first action we would need is to get all the lists and libraries in a site collection. And then I put it in apply to each. My input for apply to each is get all lists and libraries action for my get columns, HTTP call, I had a filter, so the type display name would be, I'm looking for a lookup and just make sure it's not hidden from the list and it can be deleted. I just want to remove anything that was a default column such as created by or last modified by. I really want to narrow down my search into a lookup columns that was manually created by a user. And, and then here I put in a select of all of the things I was looking for. And then the lookup list ID, because we can't pass an array through an array variable. I made of append to array variable to be a string. After we have appended all of columns, I put it a select from this variable and then just convert that string array into a JSON array. So we'll just turn that back. After that, I did a filter if any of of the list or library that doesn't have any uh, lookup columns. And then after that, I have plan out from nested arrays to regular array, and then we'll just test it to see. Let's take a look at get all lists and libraries here. I believe the type 100, it's a SharePoint list. Type 101, it's a document library. And this is the library or list ID. And this is the one I have created down here, okay? So for every single list or library, we are going to get the columns and then do a select. For the first list of library, it does not have any lookup columns. After that, this is all of the libraries. So let's take a look at the raw output. It seems like there's only one list that has a lookup column. There is only one column in the whole site collection that contains a lookup column. And there you have it. I hope this video is helpful. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and click on the bell icon to follow for more updates.